All right, y'all. I want y'all to get loud. I want you to get crazy. I want you to have mad fun. I want you to dance, because y'all about to listen to the sounds of San Francisco's native elements, y'all. Give it up. I'm Chris, and I play drums. I'm Joel. I play guitar, and that's all I do. Jose, I'm a singer. There's also Pete, who's our keyboard player. Um, there's Ben, uh, we call him Slash, because he plays keyboards, he plays the trombone. I mean, I mean trumpet. Trumpet, saxophone, sings. <laughs> then we got Martin, he's a percussion player. We um, got Mike Boss. Mike Boss, sitting on the sideline. Mike User, plays trombone. Trombone. JP. The other lead singer? Other lead singer. And we can't forget uh, Jimbo who holds down the bass. Bass. Oh, and, and we got to mention, we got to mention Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> Shannon's our sound person. He, sound. He's kind of the 11th member of the band because he adds so much, you know, texture to the, the music. Ten people strong, um, you know, full horn section, um, three-part harmony, and, and a full rhythm section. <laughs> The band, Native Elements, kind of uh, spurred from an idea that Joel and um, Jose, you know, came up with. It was really Jose's vision and his travels to Jamaica that really inspired us to, to really just go full force, you know, into reggae music. Reggae was the one, the music that spoke to us. Um, and we all just kind of got together and it, it was, I don't know, it was like, so magical or something that we all came together and started making reggae. Um, other guys started coming into the band. I mean, our, our recordings, I think, um, speak volumes in, in, in what we do artistically. Uh, but live is really where we excel. It's because we feel so comfortable with each other that we can take chances live. We can open up an arrangement and not feel like we have to play the same song the same way every night. You know, Bob Marley once said, who feels it knows it. So, I mean, when, you, when we're playing reggae, it just, it just captures you, you know, it just engulfs you into the music. You could, um, you could dance really easy to it, you know. Like I said, you could express it. We can't forget the spiritual element. There are times, I mean, not often enough, but there are times when it is just hit. When the audience is in tune and we're in tune, we know that we can't do wrong because it's obviously coming from somewhere else. You know, that's why we give thanks to the Lord. Style-wise, I mean, it's very, um, I guess, laid back, you know, organic, so to speak, and um, just basically off the cuff because if you've been to any of our live shows, you know, that's basically who we are, you know, we just put it out there. We're just kind of... It's a native element. <laughs> We're just kind of raw that way. <laughs> Reggae music being just kind of the stepchild of, of the musics, you know, it's, it's kind of looked at as non-popular. So a lot of the Asian events will cater towards hip-hop, dance type events, boy band type um, acapella groups. But, you know, recently things have really been opening up. I've been, you know, surprisingly, uh, we've been being accepted by uh, a lot of different you know, organizations. The, the society we live in, you know, although there are, you know, Americans make up so many different races, you know, the media just portrays, you know, a, a general you know, color or, or consensus, and it's it's not totally you know um, spread across across the board. We're actually coming out now from from the background, and we're coming forward. Um, but I think the the biggest thing is just is time, you know, because because time and time again, you know, um, Americans have just been shown a certain model, a certain you know type of um, look on television and you know eventually that that's all going to change um, but the biggest um, hurdle for us is we're playing Jamaican music native Jamaican music um, and on top of that Jamaican music really doesn't get um, 
a lot of rec you know recognition in in the United States. The style of the band, <laughs> yeah, our, our closeness—that's right. the soul. The I mean, soul the, the, the band, brotherhood that we have in the this bond. band, the bond. That's the soul of that's the core of this band. I mean, like I said, without each one of these individuals in this band, we wouldn't we wouldn't have a sound like the Native Elements. Native Elements just it's more than just a band. You know, it's truly a, a family, and I think that bond alone really keeps us together and keeps us moving forward. We're not all standout players and, and stuff, you know, but I mean, together we really create this cohesive sound that, you know, that's bigger than, than all of us.